Leader, Liberal Democrat, 25,260. I feel an enormous sense of personal pride here uh, and appreciation for the people of North Norfolk for showing faith in me. But I think it will be seen as a historic miscalculation. The theme of what I tried to say was about taking people for granted. So locally, I think many people, including the media, uh, took uh, people for granted. They assumed that 8,000 UKIP voters would switch to the Conservatives. Uh, but nationally, there was this assumption that they would win with a big majority. Uh, and that, in effect, sort of arrogance um, leads to people becoming unstuck. Uh, and that's what's happened in a big way uh, tonight. Punching the air like a winning goal in the cup final and a cuddle for his wife Mary. Norman Lamb celebrates a victory in North Norfolk that even he wasn't sure would come. The Lib Dem's been MP here since 2001, but there were plenty of predictions his seat could be swept away in a tall tidal wave. I'm always a glass half empty type of person in campaigns. I always fear the worst, uh, but uh, we were getting such a positive reaction from people, including people who were telling us that they'd always voted Conservative and that they were voting for me this time. This corner of Norfolk got particularly tasty when UKIP decided not to field a candidate and urged their supporters to vote for the pro-Brexit Conservative, James Wilde. But it wasn't as simple as that. A whopping 75% turnout, a slightly reduced 3,500 majority for Norman, with the Conservatives once again coming in second and Labour in third. It was a bitter blow for the Tories, with candidate James Wilde not hanging around afterwards to speak to the media. Given the short campaign, I think we've a lot to be pleased about with the campaign. Obviously we'd like to have won. But um, I think we've laid sure foundations to the future. We had an excellent candidate in James, local lad, come back um, to where his family had come from, where a huge number of his family live. Um, I think he's a lot to offer for this area. Nationally, Labour have been celebrating gaining seats. They did gain votes here, but they think tactical voting was going on to keep the Tories out. It's a disappointing result uh, for Labour, um, but we've had a great night across the whole country and I think that's what we're looking to build on in the future. But also what, what tonight has proved in North Norfolk is that we have a substantial anti-Tory majority in this part of the world and we, as the Labour Party, need to make sure that we um, gain more of that uh, going forward in future elections. If the Conservatives were to achieve the landslide they were hoping for, this is just the kind of seat they would needed to have won, and a lot more of these votes would have needed to have turned blue. But in the end, after 16 years, it's another vote for Norman, leaving the Tories to try again next time, and after last night's results, who knows how soon that'll be. Neil Perry, Mustard TV, North Walsham.